So there was, there was uh, kind of news all over the place, and, and you know, uh, so this from is... From South America is creating a big buzz tonight. Researchers in Toronto say it could be the world's most nutritious food. It's called chia, which most of us know as a grass-growing novelty item for children. But long before chia pets, the grain was used by the ancient Aztecs, who valued it more than gold. Now we know why. As CPD medical specialist Ava Spavro reports, this super grain is a nutritional gold mine. In the quest to find the healthiest food, this ancient grain, the chia seed, may be the newest contender. So I was totally pleasant as a bug. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Vladimir Buxan and a team from St. Michael's Hospital have been trying to uncover the medicinal magic behind the seed from the plant Salvia Hispanica, once revered by ancient Aztecs as a power food in medicine, more recently used to spread quickly on chia pets. Or maybe just when we see these growing so crazily like nothing else, we say there must be something in this grain that has been so rich in nutrient. So they studied one strain in particular, white chia, now called salva, and found it contained high levels of fiber, calcium, magnesium, antioxidants, and omega-3s. The Toronto team began baking it in bread, serving it to patients with diabetes, and found that the equivalent of four teaspoons a day made blood thinner, less prone to clotting, a risk factor for heart attacks. Just did this here, another star. Body, also linked to heart disease and reduced blood pressure above and beyond the medications patients were already taking. But the interesting thing is the blood pressure. That's a very important reduction of blood pressure. Actually, some pills don't lower blood pressure that much. It also boosted fish oil components in the patient's blood by up to 80%. It is a remarkable nutrient profile. This study really brings home how much nutrient value there is. Researchers are now planning studies on the grain's effects on heart disease, on arthritis, and on weight loss because of its apparent ability to suppress appetite. In the meantime, salva has already become a popular seller in health food stores, and manufacturers are starting to add into foods like crackers and snacks, making an ancient grain into a hot, modern nutritional property. It is Fabro CTV News. So that's from CTV. You know, they, they, they have to say chia because people don't know about salva. I told you chia, that's not chia. Né? So anyway, in Mississauga, in Toronto, we have this <laughs> cardiology walkthrough so you can order Max Salva. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, so that's another song from my, you can read here. Imagine if one little seed could provide most of the nutrient you can need, that's in case of salva. Let's raise money in St. Michael Hospital. These are they have to raise hundreds of thousand dollars. <laughs> Imagine. So anyway, uh, Saturday Evening Post is very keen. Another beautiful thing, uh, Aztec civilization may never rise again, but part of ancient legacy, etc., running food, glorifying Salva again several times. Then we were surprised, nobody put advertisement that in, in one of the leading or top uh, nitrogen, no oxygen, whatever it is, gas, you know, uh, for ladies, I don't read because that's for women. Uh, that was the, the most burning food for fat. 